Tapi it's uh, yeah. Means uh, one one browser can a request based on employee ID one zero one. At mm. that time, it will hit into the DB and make a cache and return back. Yeah, so, ba uh, based on that client only. This. Yeah, yeah, I got it. Yeah. Your point. Based on that client that machine is, only. It's a uh, This one will generate. Why I said that. Based on that client, this region will generate. Yeah, yeah. Ma, uh, uh, means uh, if another browser make mm. a same request based on employee ID one zero one, so mm -hmm. in that case it will just uh, uh, fetch the data from the cache. No, 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 no. Based client? on the no, this this cache memory work with the client only, right? So means number of client equal to number of region will generate inside that cache. Okay, 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 okay. Okay. I'll show that. Don't worry. I'll show it. I'll show it that one. Also, whenever we will do the browser, will, yeah, yeah. Means three browser will hit the same region. Means same uh, three queries. Means three hit into the DB. Yeah, yeah. Three hit will be there. I'll show that one. Both um, number of multiple client I will open and I'll show you. Okay. Sure. Uh, at the time of doing the good question, right? I appreciate your analysis. So I'll show that one. Mm -hmm. So now every shall we continue now? Yes, let's see. Okay, yes. so yes. just uh, next time, right? Just next time, just think about that. What just next time? Next time, what will happen now? Next time, uh, end user here, end user again want to update, right? Again want to update. Then what will happen now? With the same uh, impl sorry, same ID, right? With the same ID, then what will happen now? First time, first time it will it will it will update in the cache memory, right? It will update in the cache memory, and the same thing will update in the database also, right? And again, again it will return to again the same data. Again it will uh, uh, come to cache memory. And uh, that updated value to uh, that that updated value return to what? That updated value return to what? Our 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 application. Our application. application. So uh, again, next remove operation. If end user performing remove operation, just a, uh, one not one not one record. If end user removing right. If end user removing one not one, one not one. Okay. So if end user is removing one not one, then what will happen? What will happen now? It will come. It will come to what? Uh, it will come to what? Our cache memory. Okay. Cache memory, right? Cache memory. No, sorry. Uh, it will directly hit to our database, right? It will delete the record from the database and it will return. And from the cache memory also, the record will return and it will return uh, the response to what again okay. yeah Got to server right to server so these three operation is supporting our what cache right these three operation our cache is supporting so here what let's understand that one also so cache cache support cache supports three operation three operations right first operation is what first operation is what fetching fetch fetch data fetch data from fetch data from db db right db to db to cache db to cache second operation is what second operation is what update update data Update data at cache. Update data at cache. Cache cache which while 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 it is it is it is updating in what is that in DB in DB third operation is what third operation is what is that remove 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 data remove data at the at cache cache while cache while while it is it is removing removing in db clear friends come on 
same things only just i explained right yes. come on yes. Yes, yes, yes. But but how how our application right how our cache memory knows that right this operation is happening this operation is happening right so for that every for that every operation what is that the multiple based on that operation what is that annotations also there like what is that if we are performing fetch uh, data right fetch data on the top of that method in the service class what annotation we will apply. Cache, 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 cacheable, right? Cacheable. 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 Cacheable means what is that? Fetching the record. In that, we are performing that what is that cache operation, right? And the second one is what is that? Update operations are there, right? Update operations are there. Right. For that, cache, at the rate, cache, cache put is there. Cache put is there. Put means what is that? We are updating the record, right? We are updating the record. Okay, fine now. So yes, after then, what is that? After then, what is that? Remove is there, right? Remove is there. So at the rate, at the rate, cache, 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 evict. Evict. Evict annotation is there, right? Annotations are there. Annotation, these annotations are there where we are performing these operations in the what is that in the cache memory, right? But what is that? What is the syntax now, right? What is the syntax and how we are writing? Just what is that? If because these are these these are the common things, right? This this is the cache after the what is that evict put and what is that cacheable, right? These only differences are there, right? Every but what is that cache is the common from in every annotation, right? So same like, same like what is that I'm giving the, like what is that syntax, how we are writing, right? Cache, cache, just what is that? After then, in, in which one, which one you want to perform the operation, you can select, right? Just here, what is that? Put also, put also cacheable and evict, evict, right? For evict, every, for everyone, for every, uh, like a notation, what we will do it now, value, value equal to what is that value equal to value equal to just what is that here region name we will give region name like what is that just assume that cache 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 just let's take what is that emp 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 region memory region name i'm giving after then what is that key 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 equal to key equal to what we will give it now has has symbol and whatever argument of that method like just emp id emp id must this one match right don't worry at the time of practical it will come it will come these things will come right so like that like that we will write it friends okay like that we will write it so so now the important point is what so when we are performing those operation so those those operation those operations are affected affected to affected to select affected to selected region right selected region 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 is nothing but what is that friends reason is nothing but what reason reason is what reason is what is that area area or what is that memory memory area or what is that memory that is what is that part part of what is that cache part of yeah. what cache part of what cache like what is that created 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 for what created for created for one module created for what is that one module like for example for example if you think about that just what is that emp 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 just region right reg just i'm giving right emp region just what is that std region dot dot 
etc i'm giving right etc so multiple multiple module will be there in the project it's not meaning that only one module will be there na? no nothing just multiple mm -hmm. module multiple. in a project what is that multiple module will be there right come on right right so so the same thing uh, everyone is curious about to uh, see the how we are implementing in our project right in our project uh, uh like uh, kaise concepts everyone is ready for that friends i'll be move on uh, yes. in the practical area yes yeah? that's yes yes so, so just simple friends what i'm going to do now just i'm going to take what is that employee project last time we did now hmm? don't worry it's scratch label only i will develop again mm -hmm. employee employee pro uh, project with a curd operation right with the curd operation so first what i will do now first a simple project i will develop without case i will and we will hit the record and we will see that right uh, and what is the problem with that and how many network calls will be there everything i will show front of you people right after then what i will do now after then i will implement redis case okay come on okay because okay. whatever theory i explained okay. every theory every theory point to point i will implement in the case friends okay but the thing is people should respond in the session that's what then i will explain otherwise i will skip because today our micro services last session is there next weekend onward what is that our project session will be there friends okay so mm -hmm. today today our micro okay. micro services last session will be there how many people are there in our session i want everyone what is that i want interactive session whatever time today we will uh, is, um, like spend right i want interactive session from everyone so today today okay. today today our micro services last concept last modules uh, and uh, today today i will wind up the session about what uh, micro services right so the thing oh, is people i want what is that response also see boss just i'm stopping that one minute i think now let's continue this is okay so now fine friends so, so let's take what is that today our spring let's take our what is that spring can uh, case case project right so spring spring boot case right case i'm taking what is that spring boot case let's take this one as a project name project name right let's take this one as a project name and how many dependency we need how many dependency we need friends let's take what is that first let's take spring boot spring boot web spring boot web another one let's take data jpa data jpa yeah data data Lombard. jpa lamba lamba and another okay. one mysql mysql let's take dev tool also data redis dev tool also after then what is that after this redis also we need but later redis. we will take red redis later we will take why first first i will first i will uh, develop we will develop simple card card ap application and first i will show that right what is the problem right what is the problem then whenever we will implement case okay. case concept at that time i will add right like that let's plan it L like that okay. let's plan it right come on okay, okay so now what i'm going to do now let's uh, create the project right let's uh, create the project now okay so file file new spring starter project Oh, network problem is there. Just min just one minute, friends. I'm changing the network. Actually, it's a too slow.
uh, now everything is good friends now everything is good friends yes yes sir. okay yes, sir. Yes, sir. now file new let's take a spring starter project okay so here let's take what is that spring boot redis cache right cache okay so copy this one change the description and now everything is fine next how many dependency spring boot web let's take directly web spring web another which dependency we need data jp right data jp another which dependency we need lombok lombok right another which dependency we need dev tool right spring boot dev tool another which dependency we need my sql right my sql i think every every dependency we kept right next finish okay so first let's uh, work on the property area friends right okay okay so first what we will do it now my sql database operation let's perform right so first what i'm going to do now just i'm creating one let's create one what is that in the database in the database one uh, like database right my sql database i'm using so here let's right click create one db let's take rk redis network issue network issue network issue is there yes sir oh. okay so now my uh, in the my sql we created rk redis right come on that is the database name okay na okay spring spring dot spring dot what is that data source data source dot data source dot what is that driver driver class name driver class name right another one is what another one Is spring dot data source dot data source dot URL, URL right URL another one is what another one is what let's copy this one only spring dot data source username username and password username and a password right password okay so here what is the driver name what is the driver name let's take directly driver driver right my sequel driver okay so database url is what is that jdbc jdbc colon my sql my sql colon double slash local host local host colon 3306 na Three three zero six and what is yes, the sir, database? Yeah, what is the database name? RK Redis. RK Redis. This one only we took, na? RK Redis. And the password is password is root root, right? Come on. now yes, let sir. let's write what is that jpa i cannot jpa property right so spring dot spring dot what is that jpa jpa 
jpa dot what is that database platform right database platform na sorry network issue network issue sometimes okay one minute i'll change uh now still if network issue is there let me know that right hello i'm audible guys please respond hello i'm audible friends i'm audible guys now everything is fine yes sir you fine yes sir okay so here what is that spring data jpa database what is that database platform right so here what we will use it now let's use my sql my sql it it not come no issues control shift t my dial sql dialect 8 is there yeah let's just use what is that my sql 8 right my sql 8 dialect copy this one paste it dot come here okay so our dialect is ready now our dialect is ready now another one is what another one is spring data jp so the point. spring dot spring dot jp dot show make this one as a true another one is what spring dot jp spring dot spm to do jp hibernate hbm ddl auto right let's make this one as a create yeah. create ah uh, update also we can take i daily no issues right so now another one is what let's take spring dot spring dot jpa dot jpa dot what is that hibernate jpa dot jpa show right jp oh already we took no issue yeah. Yeah. already we took na this 300 yeah so now fine okay so hibernate uh, sorry jpa property also ready now guys so let's develop our module class so shall i develop the module class now yes sir okay yes right click new take one class may here let's take module here here let's take what is that employee employee model right yeah so now let's take here variable here yeah. let's take what is that variables like what is the private private integer integer id private string emp name private double emp cell right yes sir emp cell okay here at the rate data at the rate entity at the rate id another one is what let's take at the rate no args constructor all our constructor 
all contracts all are yeah. constructor right and here what we will do it now let's make this one at the rate at the rate id id at the rate at the rate id and let it generate generated value also let's say generated value now okay and here what we will do it now implement serializable serializable right control c to okay here it's asking that add the uuid also add the serial version uuid okay that's it okay fine now guys okay our model class is ready now okay so next what let's develop let's develop our data jpa module right let's develop mm -hmm. our what is that jpa module right click new select one interface interface it was Repository. Repository. Right. So here, employ. Employ. Your. Right. Finish it. Okay, fine now. Here, what we will do it now? Extends. Extends JPA repository. JPA repository. JP repository. Here, what we will give now? Employee. Employee. And integer. will be integer. Employee here, integer. 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 Okay, so repository interface is ready now. So now here what we will do it now let's develop our what service class right click new take interface here what is that service here let's take i employee service right employee service finish Okay, fine now, friends. So here, what we will do it now? Let's let's we are going to perform card operation now. So public, let's yes. take the method right? Employee, 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 shape employee, employee. Inside that, let's take the argument as a employee. Okay. Employee, right? One abstract method. Control C. One abstract method. Another one is what is that? Let's update the update, update employee, update employee, right? Inside that, what is that? It will return after updating that. Let's return what is that employee object only, right? Employee object. Employee object. Employee object. Public. And here we are updating that, right? Here we are updating that based on that integer ID, no? ID. Integer ID. Yes. EMP, EMP, ID. ID, EMP, ID. Okay, but here, what is that? I'm thinking okay. about that. I'm thinking about that. I will check the condition. If employees exist, right? Conditional based. I will update the employee ID. Otherwise, it will throw the exception. I will develop in the. Let's make this one as a. What is that? A little bit real, real time project. So what? I will develop in this project. What is that? Custom exception also. So I employee. ID. So let's take one more employee. Yes, yes, yes. Employee, employee EMP. Okay. Yes, sir. Okay, fine now. So another one is what? Another one. Let's take another one also. Another one is what is the delete operation? Na? Yes. Delete yes, employee. Delete employee, right? Delete employee based, is, on, the ID. based on that ID. Integer. ID. Integer. EMP ID, right? EMP ID, and it will return what is that after deleting okay. that? After yeah. deleting that, what it will be? Let's not return anything. Let's right. Okay. right. Okay, fine now. After then, which operation is 
selecting i want select one record also that operation also i want right so public public what is that public get get Im employee employee get one employee right get employee get employee based on that yes employee id emp id based on that emp id what we are doing now we are fetching the record right i want what is that one more operation let's say i want all record also whatever record is there in the database that a record also yes. i want public so public it will list Rate. of employee list of what is and that we, employee get all employees and get get all employees get all get all employees okay employee. these these are operate these are operations in our what these operations in are there in our service class right control shift yes. o okay so fine now next what we will do it now we will develop implementation class right right click yes, new take one class dot impl let's take employees implements employee service implement employee service implement I am here. Now finish it. Here, what we will do it now? Here we will apply on the top of at the rate service. Service annotation. 